Oh, honey, I love catching bluegills. This is the wetland, and we're yeah, here. The wetland is right over there. Washington Township residents mount opposition against a land deal involving an Indiana multimillionaire. Philanthropist Crystal DeHaan is now set to close on almost 180 acres, now home to the St. Mar Monastery. Eyewitness News reporter Anita Malachi explains what her future neighbors hope to accomplish. It's our top story tonight at 530. It's home to fish and wildlife, 176 mostly wooded acres just east of Michigan Road. Soon, the monks of St. Mar Monastery will no longer allow people to fish, swim, and socialize here. Indianapolis philanthropist Crystal DeHaan is set to close on the property with plans to build a possible home for herself and homes for friends. Now, the city designated this land space as a park space as far back as 1991, even saying at one point, if it ever goes up for sale, we should try to buy it. Just imagine a community park offering swimming, boating, gardening, and a lot more. I think for a large number of people in the community, this will be a true loss for the community. It's not as if it's a neutral piece of property in which we have to decide what to do with. It's already been used as a park. As soon as they, uh, they finish their excavation, the uh, groundwater is going to fill up the lake to its previous level, taking out this, all of this area right here out of the floodplain. Uh, so, you know, it looks like they're doubling uh, the amount of area that's uh, above the floodplain. So that's going to, uh, you know, has to affect the, uh, the flood regime. In other words, that will lessen the ability of floodwaters to be absorbed in here. They're yes. going to be going up here exactly. as they pull, they're going to be piling up back, right? And when, isn't it true what, the, if Ravenswood, which is upstream from this, and, and the Rocky Ripple, which is almost across the river from it on low ground up there beyond Butler, it, 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 if, if you put high ground here, aren't you, those, plus, those areas, which already have a flooding problem, yeah, aren't gonna, you going to increase the, gonna, that problem up there? Increase the problem. I live on the river, so that's an option, but the river is not swimmable, so so I, I don't really know what we'll do. People are dying for nature. They need it, and we've got it. I've been coming out here off and on for maybe 20, 25 years. I remember as a little kid that we used to uh, come out here and fish and catch bass and bluegill, crappie, you know, and have a good time, you know. And there are so many of our lanes that are just gone. I mean, where are the animals going? And this is beautiful. And I really like it here. <laughs> I mean, they got everything in there, but with me and my mother, bless her heart, she's dead and gone. She loved to fish too, and she would love to just sit there and just pick them fish out just right and left. It'd be a shame to really get rid of this place because it's where the community, you know, can get together and really have a good time, you know, right. without, without no, no, you know, violence, just, just peaceful family unity. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do you? Goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 